This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Volleyball presentation is brought to you by Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Your local electric cooperative is looking out for you. Welcome back. You're watching Girls Volleyball Action on 26 Sports and CCTV. This is Bill Dooley and along with Elena Huss. And we are going to start it off by saying the JV score tonight for Cadillac. They won two to one against, or they won two matches to one against Alpina, and the freshmen won all three games. Congratulations! For Cadillac. Yeah, congratulations to both the teams for Cadillac. All right, the Vikings with a two to nothing lead here going into game number three. Like I said, we have some football action coming up this Friday the last games of the regular season, and then Sunday is Selection Sunday, and that's when we'll find out um, from McBain and Lake City who they're gonna play in the playoffs. So uh -huh. and we'll, we'll be doing a little bit of coverage for uh, uh, football action in the playoffs. So that'll be exciting. We got some local teams. Hopefully they can go a long ways in the playoffs. For sure. You have Moses over there uh, controlling the student section. See if we can get a little <laughs> shot of them. The Kralik Crazies. Oh, we missed him. Moses in his pink. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There we go. We got that's a shot of him right there. That's my favorite one. When Moses walks through, spreads the sea. That is awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, Precord will start off the serving for Alpina. The Vikings will set it to Maggie Nee. Straight down. Great elevation by the sophomore. And that gets the crowd excited. And we have Macy Brown going back to serve for the Vikings. She seems to be back there a lot tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Macy with a short serve. Nice play there by McDonald. Chloe Comstock to Brown. Brown to Gabby. Gabby's going to send it back. Girl, good top spin on it. Free cord out wide to McDonald. Vikings no problem there. Brooke Kahani with her left hand. Zan with a beautiful hit. Edie Zan, the sophomore. That was a beautiful hit. And now we will have number five for the Wildcats. Adriana Gumtow back to serve. Adriana's had some really good plays tonight, too. She has. Yep. Gabby blocked at the net by Zan and Leek. Zan. Alpina's got to get it over here. Good cross-court hit. Out wide to Gabby, off the block, and for the point. And that will send Mary-Kate Taylor back to serve for the Vikings. Vanessa Liptek is back in also for the Vikings, and Polarski, their libero, is back in for Alpina. Knuckling serve, dug up beautifully. Leak with a cross court hit. Nice to Taylor. Back to Nice. Cross court. Diving save by Pularski. Oh, a little bit of miscommunication there between Gumtow and Murphy. But what a great it save by Pularski. That was great. Seeing a lot of those tonight for sure. And Mary Kate is back serving for Cadillac. Mary Kate, Pularski. This one's got to go over. Plarski will send it back row to Taylor. Brown, Nice. Plarski with another dig. Send it back row to Comstock. Brown, that time boomed down by Anessa Liptak. That was a good job by the Vikings to fake who that was going to hit that yep. one. Mary Kate still serving for the Vikings. They have a four to one lead on the Wildcats. Murphy with the pass to Precord. In the middle to Zan, and the Vikings were there. I don't think it got over the net. Five to one Vikings here in game number three. They won the first two, 25 to 10 and 25 to seven. Mary-Kate still serving for the Vikings. This time she puts a short serve. Middle to Zan. Maggie digs it up. Brown. To Gabby. Gabby back row to Plarski. 
Precor just bops it over the net. Brown in the middle to Anessa. Murphy with a good move there. It's a clean play. Out wide, back cross court. Oh, and going up in the air, McDonald lost her balance a little bit there. Mary-Kate still controlling the serve of the Vikings as they take a 6-1 to one lead. Klarski, good pass to Precord. In the middle to Zan. Zan hits it too deep. 7-1. to one. Our sponsors again for tonight are Napa Auto Parts. They have locations in Cadillac, Lake City, and Big Rapids. We also have Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy and Cadillac Tire. Here's a set to McDonald. The Vikings block it down. Gabby and Anessa were in the vicinity. All of our sports broadcasts are produced with cooperation between the Wexford Masaki Career Tech Center, CCTV, and My News 26. Students run cameras, graphics, and instant replay, supervised by a professional director. This year, we have two completely outfitted vans filming two different football games every week. Yes, and uh, the people running the cameras are the students, and they're doing a great job with camera work, graphics. Tonight you see Heather, she's doing the directing, so that's awesome too. And uh, they're all supervised by a professional director on site tonight. That's Wyatt Van Dyna. All right. Um, you can check uh, online for the games when they will be played back. Uh, it's nice watching the... Okay, like crazy is going right now, but if you go to www.mynews26.com and check for the schedule for either volleyball or football, and you can also buy DVDs, single game copies, or you can buy the whole season, and you get a little break on your price if you buy the whole season. All right, well, that's a good deal. We have Mary-Kate Taylor serving for the Vikings. In the middle, Zan pushes it back row to Brown. Mary-Kate with a back set to Gabby. A huge hit cross court for the kill. Smart set there. Mary-Kate's, uh, she's going to need a permit. She's been back there <laughs> yep. so long. She's living back there. And good eye there by Madison Murphy, and it goes wide, and it breaks the long string by Mary-Kate Taylor. I think we jinxed it. Yes, <laughs> we always do. Who just came in? Allie DeRocher, Allie. number three, the freshman, and Edie Zan with the serve. Macy Brown in the middle to Gabby. Blocked by Alpina. Set up by Precord. Murphy, cross court. Comstock to Brown to Liptak. Somebody was in the net. It was Alpina. So it's going to be 11 to 2, the Vikings, with the lead here in game three. And we have the libero Kolarski coming back in for the Wildcats. Good hit there. Goes up in the rafters and straight down. I think that was number three, Allie DeRocher. We have number seven coming in, Emma Kelly, for number 12, Jessica Leak. And she Emma Kelly will go back to serve for the Wildcats. Good pass. That was Carly Scott in the game now. Chloe Comstock with a big hit. Good dig there by Polarski. In the middle. The freshman a little bit undercut that one. Vikings score again. It's 12 to 3. As Gabby Kapazinski takes it back to serve for the Vikings. Nice hard serve by Gabby. Good save by number two, Allison Precord. Gabby out to Macy. And just, I'm not sure if that made it over the net or not. Yeah, I don't think it did, but Anessa was there mm -hmm. just in case. Yep. Gabby takes it back to serve again for the Vikings. Nice line drive to Polarski. And number three, DeRocher, tries to put it down. Mary-Kate saves it. And 
Air K out to Chloe. And she'll get a kill on that one. And a big cross court by Chloe there. Gabby uh, will continue to serve, but it's a timeout by the head coach for Alpina, Stacy McEwen. Uh, I want to mention, too, that Gabby is going to be playing some volleyball at Central Michigan oh, yeah. University. Fire up. <laughs> yeah, fire up chips, and that's where Elena's going. Elena is in the, would you call it the sports broadcasting program? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So what, what are some of the classes that you're looking at right now, Elena? So I have a couple of journalism classes, and then I have a, a broadcasting like production class. Okay. That one's pretty fun. I guess, uh, we learn how to direct and be behind the camera and be in front of the camera, so that's pretty cool. And you're also helping to do interviews and stuff on campus, right? Yep. Yeah, for the like athlete of the week and stuff. Cool. Um, yep. So it's fun. Kabazinski back serving for the Vikings. And that'll be a little long. 14 to 4, Cadillac with the lead, so that was a good timeout call there by Stacy McEwen. Doctoral, number 16, that's Emma Doctoral back in the game. She is a sophomore. Nice hard serve by Madison Murphy. And that was a nice swing by Macy Brown, covered by Doctoral. And that's yeah. off Vanessa the puts block. It Just tips it over for the kill. And Macy Brown's hit went as high as she could go on the yep. rafters without hitting something. <laughs> Anessa Liptak back to serve for the Vikings. She's got that little jump serve. Polarski with a perfect pass to pre-court. In the middle, Doctoral goes back, Ooh. corner. Saved there by Carly Scott. And they get it over the net. Kelly with a good pass. In the middle, beat right down there is DeRocher, the freshman. And she's piling up the kills tonight for Alpina. Yes, she is. Wow, that's she's got a good future in front of yeah, her. Yeah, she does. We have Polarski going back to serve. And number six, Edie Zan coming in for the Wildcats. Back row to Gabby, to Brown, to Brooke. There's a good pass by Kelly over the net. The Vikings cannot get it over. That'll make it 15 to 6. Cadillac's leading the Wildcats. In the crowd for Alpina, the, uh, the <laughs> students are doing a great yeah, job in trying to fire them up. Doing a little dance over there. <laughs> in just a second here, we're going to get uh, Lexi Johnson profile, player profile. Pre cord to Doctrill. Mary Kate looking for Chloe. Chloe tries to go back corner. Here's a setup for Doctrill off the block. Mary Kate this time will put it out for Macy Brown. Pushes it back and coming in was Emma Kelly and it, uh, she couldn't change her direction that quickly. And we have number 11 Maggie Neese coming in for Carly Scott for the Vikings and Chloe back to serve for the Vikings. Free cord will put it up for Emma Doctrill. Vikings have been all over that little tip shot. Cross court by Brown. Free cord pushes it back to Taylor. In the middle to Brooke. Brooke with the kill off the hands of Murphy. And that'll send Chloe back to serve again for Cadillac. Klarski to pre -cord. In the middle, that was number 11, Rachel McDonald. Getting it over the net is Murphy. To Brooke Kohani with a good cut shot there. Straight down. Straight down on the cut shot. Tough one. And Comstock back to serve again for the Vikings. Chloe floats one a little bit long. 18 to 7, and we're going to have to find a, a spot here to get our Lexi uh, player profile in here, Elena. All right. 14 is Jamie Mrzinski, Madrinsky coming in for Alpina. I think that might be first or second time she's been in the game. That one is Ooh, just that a little wide. Looks like it was on the line. Yeah. Now the. Okay, they're going to give it to Cadillac. Looks like they're not too happy about that one. No. Macy Brown serving for Cadillac. There's a cross-court hit 
by Alpina. Gabby will try and finish that one off. She does, and huge hit. Adriana Gumshaw coming back into the game. Uh, Gumtow, sorry. <laughs> I knew I would say that one wrong <laughs> once. Macy Brown for Cadillac. Good middle set there for Alpina. Vikings, Gabby, big hit, tipped, dug up. There's a hit there, back row to Chloe. Macy just punches it over the net. Alpina sends it deep, Chloe Comstock. This side to Maggie Neese. Polarski to Precord. Gumtow, oh cut, Macy off guard. Brooke Mahani will put it back row. Polarski with a good pass to Precord. There's a tip, and in the net was number 14, Jamie Madrinsky. All right, we're gonna do our player profile to right now. Number seven, Lexi Johnson, she's a junior. Lexi's parents are Pat and Sherry Johnson. She has two brothers, Ethan and Nick, and a sister, Rachel. Besides volleyball, Lexi likes to ski and is on the varsity ski team. Lexi's favorite things to do in her spare time are reading, hanging out with friends, and going to sporting events. Lexi's favorite professional athlete is Lindsey Vaughn. And Lexi would like to attend college after high school, but is not sure on the particular field she would like to study. Congratulations, Lexi, on being a player profile of the game. And I'm sure Lexi's hoping for a long, cold winter to get the yeah. uh, get the snow going on the slopes. I'm it's been a very warm fall, hasn't it? Yes, yes it has. All right, the Vikings are up 22 to eight here in game number three. There's a serve back row to Chloe Comstock, and it's going to be an ace. Was Plarski serving? Oh no, that was uh, uh, Gumtow, yep. Adriana. 22 to nine, Vikings with the lead. Looking to go eight and one in the Big North. And uh, like I said, next week they will travel to TC Central, or excuse me, uh, yes. what's say Wednesday? Yeah, that's next week, yes. We have Anessa came in for the Vikings and Mary-Kate will serve. Back row to Plarski. Good hit there, but just a little bit wide by Madrinsky. And the Vikings are within one point of sweeping the Wildcats. Mary Kate's looking to close them out here with the serve. Mary Kate with a short serve. Good pass to Precord. Madrinsky, cut shot over the net. The Vikings get it. Gabby sends it back row. There's a push to the back row to Brown, to Mary Kate. Looking for Nice. Nice goes back row. Good save by Polarski. That one's at the net. Jumping up is Anessa. Alpina still gets to it. And Murphy sends it too long. And that'll do it for the Cadillac Vikings as they sweep the Alpina Wildcats three games to none. And in just a moment, uh, Elaine and I will be back with the post-game show. You are watching Girls Volleyball Action on 26 Sports and CCTV. Stay tuned for the post-game show.